it's a force, a particle, a substance. I don't know if it exists. When you think of time, when you're describing time to somebody, just crudely speaking, what, what image is in your head? Like, how are you conceiving of this thing called time? So, the uh, first thing I should say is, I also do not know what time is, and I don't think any of us do. Is it something that we humans impose on the external world just to organize our perceptions into some coherent narrative? Is time more than that? Is it fundamentally stitched into the fabric of reality? Are there realms of reality where there is no conception of time at all and it just exists in a way that doesn't change in the manner that we usually think of when we're talking about dynamical changes through time? I, I don't know and nobody does. But how then do I think about it? pretty much the way you think about it. I think of time as something that allows for change. Time is the environment within which things can differ at one moment versus another. And in fact, the way we note that time has evolved is by comparing things, whether it's the second hand on a clock, the readout on your iPhone, or the color of my hair 25 years later compared to what it was when I was much younger. That's how we mark the passage of time by virtue of change. But is time more than that? Mm. I don't know. Well, most physical mathematical calculations work in both directions, right? Like if you take almost anything and just reverse it as if time was going backwards, it all works out the same. Yeah. So it's very difficult to discover why there is this arrow of time that, that takes us from from past to future. And it feels like it does take us there. I can get up and walk forward or back, or I can stand still, but I can't do that with time, even though I'm told time is a dimension a bit like yeah. those other spaces which I can I can manipulate. I I find it impossible to to wrap my head around. But also when somebody says maybe time is just an illusion or something we impose into the world, that doesn't make sense to me either. Because I think well to impose something is something that's done through time you know and so i don't i don't think i recognize that possibility the idea that that, that time is some kind of human construction is, is that what you were sort of suggesting it, it it could well be or it could be deeper but the problems that you're referring to are real ones mm. and we have made progress on at least some of them mm. in terms of the arrow of time why does it seem to have a direction when as you rightly say the laws of physics as currently constructed they're agnostic between what we call forward in time and backward in time they work in both directions equally well and we believe it has to do with entropy, mm -hmm. this idea of disorder. 